Good day, this is MJ. Right now, we are here at Philippine International Convention Center with us is Madam C. Hello. And of course, we will interview one of the governing board of BZA, no other than Sir Manuel Serra Jr. Good day, sir. Uh, good night. Uh, sir, uh, congratulations uh, for the recent award that you received from the international community. Uh, it's okay because uh, uh, the international uh, uh, country uh, recognizes us, uh, the PCE that contribute also uh, the coconut as one of our uh, economic uh, pricing uh, uh, income here in the Philippines. So internationally, ngayon, uh, nagpapasalamat tayo na kahit na ang COPRA bumababa pero ang 21 countries had a purpose of addressing also the low price in going up up then uh, they are now ongoing in uh, session in the plenary uh, discussing matter on how we can uh, only invite some other countries to plant uh, uh, coconut trees because coconut tree Trees had um, a very wonderful tree of life that contribute uh, uh, up to 36 uh, products that will come out out of one, one uh, nuts. So meaning, if those countries that uh, in the last uh, for the last uh, for the coming years, if we can have the 50 to 100 countries that will buy together, so precisely. Uh, coconut is uh, very uh, one of the most uh, economic uh, income, not for the country but uh, for the direct to the country side development for the farmers. So, champion talaga ang farmers. Yun ang pinahinahanapan talaga ng 21 countries. O paano natin bubuhayin yung mga farmers natin. Kaya, uh, we don't believe in awards. Sa akin lang, but I believe that uh, supposed to be to be awarded to the direct to the farmers because uh, what will happen to the awards if we recognize for an awards but uh, the farmers still suffering. So my purpose there, bottom line, bottom line, I have most very important uh, factor na ang address talaga natin doon sa countryside rural program na talagang bibigyan natin ng alaga ang mga farmers. Now, the plan of the PC, Philippine Coconut Authority, will be having a consultative from different sectors that will allow to contribute and talk matters regarding on how we can uh, we can uh, conduct an exportation of the coconut by whole, by by nuts. Now, if that will be lift up, lift the ban, because. Uh, that will, number one is that uh, the process is, uh, it is a consultative, it is a true consultation to the farmers direct and to the stakeholders. Then uh, it will be passed to the, the board for the resolutions. Then we will submit that to the, uh, to the uh, committee that assigned uh, in holding the ban. Uh, now, uh, that will be the process after all, the governing board will convene for the implementing guidelines so that uh, directly from the farmers, pwede na sila makadirekta. Now, the role of the government is to connect, not for the wealthy, uh, Business wealthy businessman, capitalist. We have to direct the, the coconuts from the farmers association, from the barangay, to the export itself direct. No intermediary, no middleman. Middle, no, no middle That's why uh, we are studying now on how we can uh, uh, liberate these farmers from the bandits also the poverty because for how many years we put them in jail? Only those middlemen who became uh, more wealthiest. Now, precisely, nakita na namin ngayon na if we can do it, that in every region we can build up manufacturing through biodiesel and through cooking oil and then export owned by the farmers, then let it be go. So that we can show it na umaangat na ang buhay ng mga farmers. 
the target of the president is now we have to move faster so that's why in every visit of, of all that we can visit the every region we have to send thousands of seedlings to uh, to plant the to some uh, idle land because we will be connecting the through the ILG, requesting the governor and the municipality in the barangay captain that we our our cost of planting uh, mandatory na kailangan na natin ngayon na magplant na so pre code nang i-distribute yung mga pre natin na ibibigay natin sa kanila so ano po yung mga requirement ng mga LP well, <coughs> hindi le kaya nga mag-open tayo ng consultation as fast as uh, next two weeks we can form na all we will ask every region na all partners na may mabibitan natin as of, as of the moment po kamusta na yung kokolisap natin alam natin medyo nabawasan na ilang percentage na po so, doon sa Sambuanga na anak na, napakalaking problema ng kokolisap big uh, piste yun eh kaya nga inaayos natin din na uh, most of our mga technical uh, from uh, we are requesting the some other mga expertise uh, ngayon medyo mapunta tayo sa accomplishment na very good na ang result 97 medyo maganda na yon uh, oh konti na lang pero wala na uh, almost wala na sila kaya ngayon aware na tayo hindi gaya noon medyo napasubo na ayaw natin intindi pero ngayon talagang iniintindi natin kasi wala uh, we become only if I think, number five na lang tayo ngayon. Kasi uh, we don't believe na hindi tayo aangat. Kaya pinag-usapan doon sa loob na aangat tayo. Ang mundo, hindi lang Pilipinas, lahat ng member of the ICC, International Coconut uh, uh, Communities, uh, magsabay-sabay tayo magtanin. Para uh, the good market, not only for cooking oil, but uh, we have all the other value added that we'll produce. Very, very in demand is the cocoa water. Also. Yes, oh, that's why, uh, sabi ko nga sayo, it's not the cocoa water only, cooking oil, virgin cocoa oil, or cocoa sugar. If you can visit at the circle, mayroon tayong uh, parang tindahan doon na you can find it out. Maraming produkto natin. If I think, in the lang 36, including, mayroon na nga tayong halublak na ang pro yung pag natin. No? Kaya marami tayo makikita doon. Kamusta naman po yung ating uh, pinaka-gene back of the different to almost 2,000 <coughs> plus variety of our uh, Alam mo, uh, uh, um, nag, ano tayo ngayon, nag-update tayo ng research. No? And uh, in that uh, way, the administrator, which is uh, newly installed uh, administrator. Pinag-anuhan niya ngayon at tinatawag yung expert of science uh, na kailangan natin na uh, may bago. Pero alam mo, uh, mayroon pa rin uh, kahit dwarf, kahit na century, hybrid. yung oh, hybrid, yung sustainable na. Eh, papaano kung magkaroon tayo ng itong panandalian lang, 20 years, wala na, matatanimin na naman tayo. But uh, pistid naman tayo sa century natin na although mataas yeah, Pero it will take 100 years. So, uh, alam mo... Like the coconut palace. Oh, uh, coconut palace. <laughs> eh, Dabo Oriental is one of the producing coconut magnet in the entire Philippines. Now, in Dabo, there are two only provinces during Manuel Quezon. It's only Dabo Oriental or Dabo provinces and Quezon province. That's why it's because of Manuel Quezon who brought seedling from the United States. That is the only time na nagkaroon tayo. That's why ang ano natin, opisina dyan sa PC, Quezon City. Uh, so precisely with the helping uh, together for these uh, uh, international partners natin na mga nagkaiisa sila para tungo doon sa pagunlad ng coconut, medyo masagan at maganda na ang inahangan nila na it's not only from the Philippines but also from other uh, countries na magkaisa para iulan natin ang buhay ng mga partners. Uh, so ito pong uh, uh, international <coughs> coconut uh, community ministerial meeting ay nag-start kahapon hanggang bukas. May, yung kailan po yung mga next uh, forum? 
depende kung anong pagkakasunduan nila kung hihil ba dito. Pero what I thought na pagkatapos na uh, employment kasi marami ang kasual natin ngayon sa buong Pilipinas. Ang uh, mga kontraktual, uh, only few are regulars because uh, it does not meet the qualification. And, uh, kaya, alam mo naman mga agricultural, uh, agriculturist uh, science ang kinagawa natin. Pero alam mo naman, pag hindi ka nakapasa ng civil service, uh, as a norm nga, eligibility, hanggang doon ka lang. However, uh, we have also studied na kailangan natin na uh, maregular ang iba kasi ayaw na ng presidente na ganoon hanggang doon. Pero we have to meet the standard also na kailangan uh, yung qualification mo uh, will meet also the needs of the PCA. Ganoon. Tapos saka we will, have, we will be filling up all the vacant positions now as long as the, our budget will meet din magkuha natin at saka lahat na from uh, Luzon, besides sa Mindanao, we have to fill it up. That's why we will be moving from one region to another. The 81 think, provinces? Uh, uh, if you can count it, the 81 provinces, including municipal, but provinces mo na pupunta natin ang mga key cities para makita natin kung ano mga problema. Last question ko po, what is the update po, the controversial of the coquilete? Uh, we have to vote that on the hands of the President. Ayaw kong pangunahan <laughs> kasi it was already, uh, I'm not in the right position to answer but uh, to understand in my own opinion, until now, uh, the position of the President is to deposit that to the bank and then uh, we have to wait for whatever uh, programs na gusto niya. But uh, precisely during the SUNA, uh, the deliver statement of our beloved president sabi niya kailan magtanim 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 tayo at palaguin at kailangan natin na uh, pagandahin ang buhay ng mga farmers that's why our team is Anita Anita Ani Anita Ani at kita the main uh, core uh, of uh, uh, secretary uh, there right now uh, yan okay. ang kay Edad kaya kung ang mga farmers maghingi ng tulong tapos hindi kikita, eh huwag na lang. Pero kung kikita, then abundantly, we will have to support. But we have to guide now principally the old farmers para matutukan natin on the countryside and the rural areas na mabigyan talaga ng halaga ang mga farmers. Last thing po, your message to the people. That's why I called up the attention to every regions, including all the federations, associations, and cooperatives. Let me remind you that uh, time has come already, that we have to leverage from this poverty. That's why our president is looking after forward to your welfare, and we are moving. We are not a sitting governing board, but we are the working board for us to elevate from one farmers to another, from Visayas, Luzon, and Mindanao. Hope we can stand to it, help one another, make us as a solid and support. Stop illegal cutting of coconut tree. Yun ang ayaw namin at ayaw ng Presidente na kung magtatanim tayo, kung magpuputol tayo, kailangan palitan natin. Very clear ang statement ng ating Presidente. Mahal kayo ng ating Presidente. The only fact na we are fast forward na yon ang mga meeting para in the next itong month of September, we will be moving from one region to another. Hope, give us another chance to fulfill the promise of our beloved President. You just witnessed our informative and enlightening interview with uh, Governing Board of Philippine Coconut Authority, no other than Sir Manuel Serra Jr. And of course, with us is uh, Madam C. Here in the International Coconut Community Ministerial Meeting at PICC. This is MJ Albina Balaguer of DZMJ Online. Makabuluhang journalism, your happiness channel.